Hi, I'm Chad with Move For Guitar. This lesson is from our series, Music Theory for Guitar. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about major scale keys. First off, download our free e-guide, Music Theory for Guitar. It contains everything that I'm talking about in this lesson, all the charts and diagrams, as well as much more, so it'll be really useful to you. And like I said, it's free, so there's no reason not to just go download that. But I am working on it right now as I'm filming this lesson, so it may not be available as you're watching this lesson. And if it's not available yet, it'll say coming soon. And if you'd like to get notified when it is available, you can sign up for our mailing list and we'll send you a notification for when it is available and let you download it. And also if you're signed up for our mailing list, you'll receive all updated versions as well. But don't worry, you don't need the e-guide to follow along with this lesson because all the charts and diagrams will be on the screen. And also we add at least one new lesson every day, so be sure to subscribe. This is part 13 in our series, Music Theory for Guitar. If you'd like to go back and start at the beginning, you can click the link on the screen. So as you know, if you've been going through these lessons, we've been talking a lot about the major scale. And that's because it's so important when it comes to learning Western music. And I'm sure you've noticed multiple times that I've talked about keys, or I've just mentioned keys, or I've talked about the root being the key. And in this lesson, I want to explain what I'm talking about. First off, I just want to point out that the major scale is not the only scale with keys, but the major scale is the most important to understand in Western music, and understanding keys in the major scale is going to help you understand keys in any scale. So it's really important to start with the major scale if you're learning Western music, and in these upcoming lessons when I'm referring to a key, unless I say otherwise, I'm talking about keys of the major scale. So I'm sure you noticed in the other lessons that a lot of times when I would mention the root of a scale, I would mention that was the key. For example, what's on your screen right now is the F major scale, which we've used this multiple times, and that's because all those roots are F notes, and the root is the name of the scale. So when you build a major scale, you start on the root, use your formula of whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, and wherever you start that from, the first note is your root, and that's the name of the scale. So we started that from an F note, so this is an F major scale, and all these red roots on the screen are F notes. So that means that all of these notes on this fretboard are in the key of F. Or if I was to move this to G, all I would be doing is taking everything that's on here, shifting it up to G, where all the roots would land on G, then I would be in the key of G. All the intervals stay the same, all the patterns would stay the same when you're playing patterns. It's just now all the root notes are landing on G, so this is a G major scale. All of these notes are in the key of G. Same thing if we moved all this information to C. All these root notes are C. This is a C major scale on the whole fretboard. This is in the key of C. And understanding keys matters when you get into playing songs or wanting to solo and much more, but those are the most basic when you're playing songs. I'm sure if you learned a song that you've heard someone say this is in the key of whatever. And the way it's in a key, the way you know it's in a specific key, is because those chords that you're playing can only come from one key. For example, if you were to play the chords C, G, D together, those chords together could only be in the key of G. You could only get those chords out of the notes that are in the key of G. Or if you were to play a chord progression that was C, G, A minor, F, those chords together could only come out of the key of C. You could only get those chords from the notes that are in the key of C. And we'll dive more into this in other lessons. I'm not telling you how to build chords in this lesson. We're going to go in depth about how to build chords and chord harmony and all of that. But that's the basis of it, that chords are coming from some key. Also it's important to understand if you want to solo over something, a chord progression or a song, it's important to understand where those chords are coming from, what key, so you know what notes to use to solo over it. So for example, if we go back to the C, G, D chord progression, those chords together, you would know that you could use any of these notes in the key of G to solo over it because all the notes that are in those chords that you're playing 
are all the notes that are in this scale, the key of G, in the key of G, so the G major scale. And that'll really help you as you're writing songs as well. If you want to write a song, if you understand what chords are in what key, you'll know automatically which chords are going to sound good together because they're in the same key. If they're in the same key, they're going to sound good together. I mean, the order you put them in matters and different voicings, meaning the way you're holding that chord and the order of the notes can make them not sound great together. But in general, if you took the chords, like I was talking C, D, G, if you put those together in some order, they're going to sound good together because they all come out of the key of G. And I should point out that songs aren't always just in one key, especially more advanced songs, but even a lot of popular songs will change keys for a moment or just borrow a chord from another key. That happens as well, but that still ties into the same concept. You would have one part where these chords are from the key of whatever, and then maybe it changes keys for a second, and you would know this group of chords is from a different key. It's just the same concept, just a little more complicated. And we're going to dive more into keys and building chords and what chords are in what keys and how all that works in later lessons, but it's important when you're starting out to understand that when you build a major scale, when you use the formula, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. The note that you start on is your root, which I'm sure you understand that by now coming this far in these lessons. And the root is the key of that scale. So what you're looking at on the screen right now is the G major scale. All these notes are in the key of G and chords that we would use that are in this key all come from notes in this scale. So the notes we use to build the chords are the notes we've used to build the scales, just taking different notes from the scale. And also, if you were soloing over chords, if you were improvising, playing a solo, you need to know what key those chords are in so that you know what scale to use. So if you're soloing with the major scale over a chord progression, you would need to know what major scale to use, which is the key. So that's just a primer on what keys are. We're going to dive deeper and deeper into this and it'll all make sense eventually to you if it's not making sense right now. But again, just like I've said through this series, I'm going to go forward a little bit and then come back and reference stuff that we talked about earlier, go forward a little more, come back, and we're just going to have to keep going forward and coming back to fill in the gaps as we go. I can't just give you every bit of information all at once. It'll just be confusing. So if you're confused at all, just keep moving forward through these lessons. And over time, I'm going to fill in all the gaps for you. And again, be sure to download that e-guide. It'll be a great reference for you. And you can just move on to the next lesson where we're going to dive deeper into all this information. And be sure to subscribe because we add at least one new lesson every day.